Good morning. It's Ruben Lowy here in McAllen, Texas. It's Tuesday, so we have a lot going on Tuesdays. We got the uh, builders call from 11 to 1, and then we have the uh, training and the uh, BPM at 7 o'clock Central Time. So plus I got I got my job to do right I got work and then today this morning I got to take my wife to the urologist oncologist to see how far her cancer spread and what we're gonna do about it and uh, so I got a lot on my mind today uh, okay this business like anything that's worth anything you know. If <laughs> if Navy SEAL training was easy, everybody would be a Navy SEAL, right? You know, if and but it's not. Okay. And so well, I was talking about love yesterday in my faith talk. Um well, it wasn't even that. Like there's this this uh, this lady Tamara Hunter. She's got this. She's uh, one of the founders of Chemo Buddies for Life, and she's got this campaign. Um, the uh, the cruise of love or something like that, right? Or the uh, Oh, and so she asked me to make a video about it. So I'm talking about love, you know, love. You know, there's a definite. You know, the Bible's definition basically is, you know, to be love is patient, love is kind, love is not jealous, right? And uh, love is understanding. Basically, you, you got to be empathetic. Right, and patient and you know tough not hard you know like diamonds and granite that's hard but you hit it hard enough with those with a sledgehammer it'll shatter but you can be done a hunk of leather all day long and it's never gonna change it's gonna be stay the same so you got to be right so in this business you got to be tough uh, and how do you, how are you tough? You have to have certain SOPs. It's, they, they teach you in SEAL teams. It's standard operating procedures. If this happens, this is what you do. There's always a contingency for everything. And you think it all through and you map it all out. Right. And this has happened, this is like the second or third time I got somebody who's super eager, you know, they're, they're, they want to do this business. One of them doesn't have his, he's not really a, a citizen. <laughs> and then this one yesterday, you know, he's got a, he's on probation. Now, we're going to see if the kind of probation he's on is going to be a sec acceptable. He's for domestic violence. And, um, you know, but I'm like, ah, oh. kind of takes the wind out of your sails. But I'm like, you know what? I got to grind. So I, I got busy. I put eight people in the tractor yesterday. All right. Now they had training on the campaign manager during this time where I'm making calls. I use my campaign manager all the time. So... Everybody that I have in the tracker, I have in my campaign manager, right? And so I used my campaign manager several times yesterday. I put out uh, to every woman that's in my tracker, right? This this woman's conference that's happening December fifth. 
So out of like 61 uh, people I sent it to, I got like 32 of them opened it. That's promising. And these are strong women too, right? That These are women that, that you know, haven't showed uh, much interest until till then, right? We're not, we're not moving them forward until right now. All right, that's one of the neat things. If there was, if there was a way, an easy way, a push button way, like when you put somebody in the um, campaign manager, it they automatically go into Salesforce. Now, if they had it, so when you put somebody in the campaign manager, they automatically go into the campaign or in the uh, in the tracker. You put them in the counter, and they automatically go into the uh, campaign manager, which then automatically goes into Salesforce. That dog could hunt, right? That'd be that'd be excellent. You wouldn't have so much redundancy, but that's not how it is. So I always, as a, at, you know, it's a process. When I put them in the campaign manager, or when I put them in the uh, counter, I also put them in the campaign manager. Same time. All right. And uh, what's neat is, and I didn't know this, and you can attach the PDF of the Save in Your Future book into the campaign well, through the campaign manager. All right, which tells me something that that should be the way I'm sending the Save Your Future book from now on. Right? You can see if they opened it or not, right? Isn't that something? So that'll be a change I make today. Right. But it's all all we what we're doing. So I've heard it say what we do is we sort people. Okay? Well, all right. We're marketing. Okay. Advertisers spend tens of thousands of dollars. <laughs> Crazy numbers. Right? To, to brand their, their products, okay? They, they spend huge amounts in endorsements to professional athletes and actors and actresses, whatever, right? To brand their products. All right, well, we don't, okay? You're making our brand. Okay, we are make. I'm making our brand. Okay, but I'm branding me. Okay, I've actually people that that originally didn't think I knew much or had much to offer now are paying attention to me, right? Because of what I put out in my videos and and what I'm sending out with the campaign manager, right? All of these things, people. You know, they're starting to say, okay, well, Ruben said something that made sense. <laughs> right? Uh, so, with that said, you know, there's, I got about five people that are, I'm going to get on to the, the call tonight. Right? And follow up with. And actually, one of them I'm going to go. Well, a couple of them I might be I might try to get coded today right but I got these numbers and what's really happened really odd to me the more numbers I have in the counter the braver I've become right which what that means is I am saying what I need to say more often I'm saying it the right way my confidence in the process and what's been taught handed down has increased 
right? I don't have to fluff it up. I don't have to say more than it's needed to make that connection and get the message across. Okay, and it's because I got I got a big pool to draw from. And it seems like I, mean, I got eight people in the counter yesterday. You know, what's that tell you? Right, that's <laughs> right. There's something something's changed. Now is it something outwardly, what's going on in the world? That's a big part of it. Right. What also is part of it is a big part of what's going on in me. Right? My confidence is going through the roof. My license got approved in Indiana. Right? And I got a bunch of people, I got a whole bunch going on there, right? Through this one recruit I have in Indiana, right? And he's eager. And he's on the phone until after 11 o'clock last night, right? Now, you know, I've got to take that people's confidence in me and I've got to shift it to the system, okay? Shift it because they're, they're not plugging into the calls. Following the the leaders, other than me, right? So I gotta I gotta work on that. Right? I mean, there's I can't I don't know her name. I see her face clear. So I can hear her voice. Uh, African lady with the sing-songy voice, heavy British accent, right? But she's like the the real simple stuff, you know. Read this. Does your money control you or do you control your money? <laughs> it kind of sets the, you know, what that does, it takes their mind and it, it focuses it. And then the rest of it we're talking about is received. Okay. And everybody needs what we have. Okay. If, if they're not, if they don't do this, if they're not saving their money, Right, and they're not saving their money in the right way, they will run out of money. Okay, it doesn't matter what their rate of return is. All right, I thought taxes are going up all across the board, you know, under Biden. Okay, so it doesn't matter what your rate of return is, if you're getting taxed 39%. That plus inflation on top of that, right? So you got to get 44%, right, to keep up with taxes and inflation. Oh, unless you're in a product, check this out. Unless you're in a product that's got tax advantages and protection, oh, then you need 5%. What do you think is going to be easier to find? You know, it's all risk versus return, right? investment that's getting 44% or one that's getting 5%. Which one do you think is going to be safer? Okay. So the underlying investment doesn't have to be as volatile for your money to grow if it's in the right vehicle. Boy. You know, picking the right vehicle. <laughs> All right. And that's what we help people do. All right. I'm trying to put something out here today that's going to be a value that's coming to me, right? And, it, and it's going to make it easier for the people that, they, you know, there's not comfortable talking to people about this kind of stuff. And it keeps them from sharing. And it keeps them from helping other people. And it goes right to the verses that I was memorizing this morning. You know, the fruit of the righteous is the tree of life. But the wise save lives. Amen.